Hello dear students welcome back to my channel in this video we'll see maths target 80 question number 8 based on trigonometric ratios very simple question to score 2 marks watch the complete video to understand and to score 2 marks very easily so do subscribe the channel and also do join my whatsapp channel the link is in the description and also dear students very important to watch the complete video we'll start the video now Maths target 80 question number 8 8 actually Maths target 80 question number 8 based on trigonometric ratios definite and important question okay trigonometric very easy question for 2 mark and also you will have 3 more question but on the based on the ratios you will get Two marks. Trigonometric ratios. How many marks will get? Two, two marks. marks. Now, before that, first try to understand what is a right angle triangle. If any one of the angle in a triangle is 90 degree, here it is 90 degree here, then it is right angle triangle. Yeah, if triangle and the other one the angle low, 90 degrees is great. We call that as what? Right angle, angle triangle. triangle and also you should know the longest side if the longest side is here the longest side of the triangle is called as hypotenuse what hypotenuse hypotenuse okay this is the longest side the longest side is called as hypotenuse and also with respect to angle r See, there are two acute angles will be there. One will be angle R and another will be angle P. Don't get confused. You have two angles, angle R or you can represent angle by any symbol, theta, alpha, beta. R is the other, you don't angle. And this is another angle. How many angles are there? Two angles. Three angles are there, but one of the angles is 90 degree here other two are acute angle now you can define trigonometric ratios based on angle r as well as angle b with respect to angle r see hypotenuse side is fixed hypotenuse side is fixed but with respect to angle r if you have the opposite opposite will be p q with respect to r with respect to R, what is the opposite? PQ. So, with respect to WRT, with respect to angle R, angle R is opposite of PQ. PQ. Got it? With respect to angle R, I am repeating again and again, you should understand. With respect to angle, angle C, opposite side. And if you need opposite, it will be the other end, right? In the same way, angle R, the opposite bandhu, PQ, and adjacent will be QR. QR. Adjacent will be QR. QR. Got it? In the same way, with respect to angle P, with respect to angle P, what is opposite side? QR. QR. For angle P, opposite will be QR. Is the opposite how is it? QR. Got it? And with rest, adjacent will be? P Q. 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 If you understand this, definitely you will get two marks. You should know, in trigonometric ratios, you should know the three sides of right angle triangle. One is hypotenuse, one is another is opposite. And adjacent. <laughs> Opposite and adjacent will vary based on the angle you choose. Okay? You have how many trigonometric ratios? Six trigonometric ratios. One is sine theta, cos theta, tan theta. Otherwise, instead of theta, what I do? I write here r. Cos r. Tan R sin R cos R tan R 
ಅದರ್ ಟ್ರೀ ಟ್ರಿಗ್ನಾಮೆಂಟ್ ರೇಷಿಯೋಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರೆಸಿಪ್ರೋಕಲ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಉಲ್ಟ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ರೀ ಸಿಗತ್ತೆ ಸೈನ್ ಆಗೆ ಏನು ಸೈನ್ ಆಗ ದ ರೆಸಿಪ್ರೋಕಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕೋಸಿಕೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೆಸಿಪ್ರೋಕಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ಯಾನ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೈನ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ಯಾನ್ ಆರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ಸೈನ್ ಆರ್ If you just reverse the ratios, you will get cosecant R. If you know cos R, if you reverse, that is if you take reciprocal, you will get secant R. If tan R, if you know the ratio, cot R will be the reciprocal of tan R. What is sin? Sin is nothing but with respect to angle, in any angle of, with respect to angle R, it is opposite by hypotenuse. What is sin R? ಅಜಸ್ಟ್ adjacent will be qr hypotenuse will be pr got it gets broken it hypotenuse by opposite opposite adjacent hypotenuse by adjacent adjacent by opposite so in the examination we write the first three letters opposite hypotenuse adjacent hypotenuse opposite adjacent got it yes sir got it yes sir in the examination what they will give they will give the values 12 5 they will give the value you should write the ratios with respect to the what angle they have asked you should write out the values okay got it yes sir this ratios you should know for example if they give 10 8 and 6 okay 10 this is a 10 square is equal to 8 square plus 6 square you know the pythagoras theorem based on the pythagoras theorem it will write right angle triangle okay now in the examination if they ask what is sin p find the value of sin p and sin r for two marks what is sin what is the ratio of sin it is sin is sin r is also same opposite by hypotenuse but with respect to angle p what is opposite six is opposite not it right it is six hypotenuse will be 10 got it x sin r kelidare sin r equals with respect to r which what is opposite 8 8 by 10 this is 10 understood yes sir simple two mark question for to give the values also values ko kele kottittare just you need to write on the ratios for writing the ratios you will get half marks and half marks for writing the correct values you will get half marks and half marks so two mark simple question okay what if they ask tan p tan what is tan p opposite by adjacent opposite by adjacent with respect to p what is opposite 6 6 with respect to p what is adjacent 8 it is 6 by 8 what is tan r tan r is what what is the ratio ratio will be same opposite by opposite by adjacent 8 by 8 opposite is 8 with respect to our opposite is 8 adjacent is 6 is 8 by 6 understood yes sir go yes sir ha yes sir in the 
examination will take a question like this first you should write down the ratios with respect to which acute angle they asked the question instead of in letter if they are given letter here also they might mention here it is alpha it is theta phi whatever it is with respect to sin alpha what is sin alpha opposite by hypotenuse with respect to alpha what is uh, opposite a right. what is hypotenuse Ten. understood if you don't concentrate on the angle here just if you write the ratio and if you don't concentrate the angle will not get full marks you get only half marks for writing the ratio okay understood yes sir yes sir no yes sir see in modern papers you have four questions in modern paper one they have they have asked say they have changed the values here it has 13 12 cm 13 cm and 5 cm they have asked tan p tan p i cos r what is tan p opposite by adjacent opposite by adjacent what is cos r adjacent hypotenuse right now with respect to tan p angle p what is opposite adjacent is 12 right one mark with respect to cos r cos r adjacent is 5 hypotenuse is 3 one mark how many mark two marks understood so if you have previous year question papers there are many similar questions as well you can solve it got it yes sir understood yes sir in model paper 2 in model paper 2 it's a different question i'll solve that also so that you can they have given the value of sin a equals 3 by 5 You should find out the value of tan. Yeah. What is sine? Opposite, opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite by hypotenuse. That is, in, with respect to right angle, one of the angle is 90 degree. If you consider it as A, B, C, with respect to angle A, opposite is how much? Three. Hypotenuse is five. What will be the value of the adjacent? You should find it. You should find out using Pythagoras theorem. If you know the Pythagoras triplet, it will be five square will be equal to three square, right? Four square. Four square is sixteen. Three square is nine. Nine plus sixteen is twenty-five, which is equal to five square. Then what is the direct you can write? Otherwise, you should use the Pythagoras theorem. That is, five square equals three square plus a b. So a b equals twenty-five. So a b square a b square equals twenty-five minus nine. A b square equals sixteen. A b equals square root of sixteen is four. So length cannot be ninety. You should take only the positive number. Got it? Yes. Now what is tan a? Tan a equals opposite. Adjacent. What is with respect to angle? What is opposite? Three. Adjacent is four. For finding the value of A B, one mark. Finding the ratio, you get one mark total. Two mark. Understood? Yes sir. Yes sir. No. Yes sir. <laughs> Now you are able to understand. to remember for the examination you should revise the ratios again and again okay the question in model paper 3 model paper 3 very other i mean simple question and then a yes sir 
C B A B is thirteen. A C is twelve. It is five. We should find out C can B and cos A B. In respect to of the angles, what is what is C can B? C can B is reciprocal of cos. What is cos? Adjacent by hypotenuse. C can B be hypotenuse by adjacent. With respect to angle B, what is hypotenuse? Thirteen. Same. Adjacent will be five. Right? With uh, with cot is cot a. Reciprocal of. What is opposite by adjacent? It will be. Adjacent by opposite. What is adjacent here? With respect to angle A, adjacent will be five. Opposite will be five. So. For the examination, you will get similar questions for two marks. You can easily score two marks. First, in the examination, if you see this question, you should write the right angle triangle again in your answer booklet. Well, question of ideal length you should not ignore. Write down again, okay? And write down the ratios, then substitute the values. For how many marks? Two marks. This question has been repeatedly they have asked me. Okay, yes, sir. this is very easy question actually. So in the examination we have three types of question: easy question, average question, and difficult question. This question comes under easy because you are directly by seeing the what the diagram you are writing the values. Okay, right? So that is easy. easy. There are many questions are there from the previous year board papers to twenty papers and all. You can download and can got it? Yes, sir. Understood? Yes, sir. How many trigonometric ratios are there? Six. Trigonometric ratios: sine, a, cos a, tan a. If you remember these three, then other three will be easily can remember. The reciprocal of sine is cosecant. The reciprocal of cosecant uh, cos is secant. The reciprocal of tan is cos. Okay. You cannot just write sine. Sine has no meaning with angle. It will have value. Sine a and tan are equal. But if s i and c are not equal, that has no value, no meaning at all. It should come with the angle. The two acute angle for you for the answer is it is ratios based on. Acute. Acute. Got it? Yes,